guys, good morning. I just did my blog Pilates and I'm putting on my Elta MD UV sport here. Um, thought I would come in here and chit chat with you guys while I did this. I did her um, abs. Amazon, I can't remember what it's called. I'll list it down below. But it was a bad at love handles. That's what it was. Um, my gosh, that's only like three and a half minutes, but I'm kind of dying by the end of it. Um, I'm almost out of my UV sport. But the reason I wanted to chit chat with you guys out here pre coffee, the reason I wanted to punish myself and you with with me pre Free caffeine is that I ran out of my um, color science mineral shield um, and I got a new tinted sunscreen that I have talked about in the past but I have some new people here and I'm kind of excited to talk about it again because I do really like it um, it's probably named in the title or something I don't know that's in the future <laughs> uh. So, funny story, last night I, um, yesterday I ran out of toilet paper, I know, TMI. This is one of the charms of living in an apartment. When you run out of toilet paper and you don't realize it until midnight at night, you can't exactly run out to the store, and then you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you can go to the gym and use the bathroom there. So, at 2 o'clock in the morning I had to go to the bathroom. So I'm like crawling through the halls in my PJs to go to the gym and use the bathroom in the gym. All right, I'm just getting a little here on my, on my helices of my ears. <laughs> All right, so tinted sunscreen I got is the Exuviance Sheer Daily Protector Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA plus 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 plus. The PA is referred to Refer to the UVA, the UVA protection in this. This is a mineral sunscreen, zinc titanium dioxide that is tinted. It has a few different iron oxide particles in it. Iron oxides, as I've said before, protect against some of the broader wavelengths of visible light, namely blue light. Like when a lot of sunscreens are like touting that they have blue light blocking technology, they really just mean they've added iron oxides into the sunscreen, which can block some of the blue light wavelengths. Um, zinc and titanium dioxide also can do that, um, side note, but uh, the reason that's important is that we now know that blue light in the visible light spectrum, meaning the light that you see with your eyes, uh, not UV, UV you don't see, your, your brain doesn't appreciate UV until you get a burn, um, if, if you get a burn, uh, it, it doesn't appreciate all of the other things that are happening to you until, until 10 or 20 years later when you have a skin cancer and, and deep sagging wrinkles, but that, that being, that, that aside, uh, blue light is what you see with your eyes and what illuminates our world. And if you're suffering from hyper, hyperpigmentation or melasma, it's been shown that wearing a sunscreen, <laughs> period, alone will help, help the hyperpigmentation as opposed to doing nothing. So that's a step in the right direction. But wearing a sunscreen daily that has protection against the uh, wavelengths of blue light, blue, blue light technology, um, that can, that can, uh, that can help your cause a little bit further. Um, it just, just, you know, if it's going to improve, it's going to improve faster kind of thing. Um, and not that blue light is necessarily causing the melasma per se. We, we don't really know, to be honest with you, but it seems to contribute to, to stubborn cases of it. Um, but anyways, I, this is, pretty expensive, but I've used it in the past and I do really like it. Honestly, I think it's kind of similar to the color science one that I um, was using. Um, maybe it's slightly, ooh, it came out, it comes out really liquidy. I have to, ooh, <laughs> really liquidy. Um, this also has green tea in it, by the way, which are, it has EGCG, Epigallo Catechan Galley, which is the antioxidant in green tea can, you know, theoretically scavenge free radicals and help fight pollution. That's kind of a, it's kind of a shot in the dark. It can, it has been shown to diminish the appearance of pores and to improve some of the lesions of acne. Yeah. So, 
People always want to know about putting green tea on your face. I can't tell you that. The studies were done with an e e EGCG or green tea containing leave-on lotion. I'm not putting a tea bag on your face. So I can't tell you how, how effective that would be. Um, but you certainly can try it. I mean, I'm not saying it won't work. I just don't, I just don't know what to tell you. Speaking of color science, I got a new Total 3-in-1 Renewal Eye Therapy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be using, quote, an eye cream, but whatever. This is a tinted sunscreen that goes underneath my eyes <laughs> in a convenient stick applicator. I do really like it. I can't explain exactly what it is about this one. No, there's not a, there's not a cheaper alternative. I've looked. Um, there's not one that I... I think works as well as this. this little stick dabby though lasts a really long time I have to say that um, likewise that mineral face shield lasted a really long time same thing with Elta MD sunscreens they last forever I mean they they have a good spread spread aesthetic I guess I think if they put spread technology on the label, that'd be, people probably wouldn't go for that. It wouldn't be a great marketing thing, but they do have great spread technology. And I'm going to go slurp some coffee. So I'm just putting a little um, CeraVe healing ointment on my lips. But before I go out later on today, I'm going to put on the L to MD UV lip balm that I like to wear to protect my, protect my lips. Um, but I really like it a lot. Uh, you know, for whatever it's worth, I think if you like, you guys always ask me about are these expensive skincare lines worth it? Or like, you ask me about all of these serums and things. I think if you want to spend money on skincare, spend it on an expensive sunscreen that you like. Because honestly, that's what the most data we have for anti-aging stuff and for skin health benefit and all of that is is in sunscreen so you know if you're gonna if you want to treat yourself buy expensive sunscreen that you like and use um, rather than rather than trying out all these hyped up products that have have very little backing behind them are <laughs> largely just fragrance speaking of fragrance um, Alginus makes a uh, sheer tinted sunscreen similar to this that some of you have asked me about and it has fragrance in it So this is a better choice than Alginist. Um, I'm glad I got it This one of my viewers liked this a lot one of my viewers in the uh, who won my last giveaway one of my giveaways uh, Where you guys had to mention what your favorite sunscreen was is uh, This was this was a favorite of one of one of you out there who who won but yeah, it's a good one um, book update. I mentioned that I went to the library this week. I started this book, Charms for the Easy Life by Kay Gibbons. I only read the first 10 pages last night to put myself to sleep, but I think I'm really going to love this book a lot. It, I don't know, I think if you're somebody who likes historical fiction, maybe I want to say, maybe I'm jumping the gun here too early having read only 10 pages. Um, I think you will really enjoy this. Those of you out there who always recommend, um, what is that book, that series that's really popular that was written by somebody with a, maybe a science background. They're making, it's, it's a star show. Outlander. Those of you who like Outlander, this isn't like Outlander at all, but if you like that kind of historical fiction with strong female roles, leads, I, I don't know. I haven't read the, I haven't read Outlander. Um, I started it and I, I just couldn't get into it. But uh, for those of you who like, who like historical kind of fiction type books, I think you'll like this. Plus I just, I, I, I really think that the characters, the women in this are you'll enjoy. Um, I don't want to recommend it just yet, having only read 10 pages, but I'm really looking forward to, to finishing this. This was, uh, I found this on, uh, you know, browsing Goodreads late at night. I'm not on Goodreads, like, actively, or somebody that you could follow for any, any guidance on book selection. I just go on there and, like, browse other people's stuff to get ideas for books to read, and this is one that came up. I really, I'm glad I got it. It took forever to come into the library, but... Um, yeah, happy to have that. So, anyways, much better. Now I'm uh, becoming human again. I uh, just put on my new Ana Luisa jewelry, the um, little um, cubic zirconium. I really like them; they're cute. I'm channeling my inner my inner ballerina here with with these on. And I'm wearing my jeans again. Aren't you guys proud of me? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit here. Slurp on some chaga and coffee. 
respond to some of your comments and then my mom and I are gonna go to Lowe's because I need to get light bulbs I got a new light fixture for my closet project stay tuned um, and believe it or not I'm actually somewhat excited to go to Lowe's even though I detest Lowe's and Home Depot the reason I'm excited is I recall last year they had really festive Christmas decor and I'm almost certain that it's out already and I'm kind of in the mood to look at it. So that is what is going on. Now I've got my um, pumpkin apple back there. I highly recommend that candle. So good. Tuscany candle. The Christmas lights up. Look at all the blowout stuff they've got too. We're in the return line. Yeah, we're here at Lowe's. Hi. Hi everybody. Happy weekend. We're in the return line because I got the wrong size bulb, so I have to return them and then get why is buying light bulbs such a challenge? It's not as hard as screwing one in. <laughs> no, that takes a team, a team effort. It was, <laughs> I actually didn't have my receipt because I, when I pulled the receipt off of the little dispenser thing, I uh, grabbed the tail end of someone's abandoned receipt and I had that, but the... Uh, Lowe's employee was very kind. I think we need to focus on these light bulbs. Yeah, let's get the right one this time. <laughs> I don't want to have a light well, there's bulb. So many, there's so many choices. It's overwhelming. All right, which ones do you need? It's the candelabra style. Get Tybee a stock. We need to get Tybee a stocking. They're pretty. I don't think those ten dollars. No, they're not big enough for they're all the loot he's gonna need. <laughs> this is cute, even though you know, I always feel badly donning the pet and costumery. This doesn't look like it would work. This chalkboard stocking, you're supposed to be able to write your name on there with chalk. You know vinyl. that would be a mess. Yeah, that, that wouldn't work. $6.98. Yeah. You could use that chalkboard paint, um, yeah. paint pens maybe. I have one of those. Of oh, they have um, Sensicle. I'm curious if these work. Smells fresh cut. I got one of those scented brooms from Trader Joe's last year that everybody was recommending and it didn't put out any fragrance. This is for people that don't want to bend over and reach in there to water their real tree. <laughs> in the tree and then you can just do it from like a little teacup. It's probably less messy, it's maybe. Clever. I don't know. It's yeah. Very clever. Overly <laughs> Christmassy red because I like things. Yeah. These are cute. Yeah. That would probably get all rusty. The truck outside. <laughs> Look at this ginormous bow. That is huge. Oh, they have nice trees. Costco has really nice trees, but they're, they're expensive. 
These are expensive too, $400. You can get a better deal on uh, Joss and Maine. That's nice with the pine cones. I really like them, but that's too expensive. That is expensive for a tree. Hey, little boy. Hey, little boy. He said, I heard there was some mention of a Christmas stocking, and I'm curious as to what that entails. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Aren't you sweet? You are sweet. You're a, you've been a sweet boy as of late. You've been extra sweet. Oh. Love me. Tybee, do you want, do you want an updo for the cotillion? For the cotillion, is this your updo? Is this your cotillion updo? I'm coming out. I want the world to know. <laughs> Pardon the lighting. I'm just here in the bathroom. I wanted to show you all. My mom got this seventh generation free and clean fragrance free hand wash. Um, two thumbs up. This, I think she had this at Target. Yeah, Target. Um, if you are looking for a good fragrance free hand soap, I, I really like this one. It um, does have alkyl glucosides in it, the cocoa glucosides. So if you happen to be one of the unfortunate individuals who is allergic to that to those uh, be aware that that's in here as is desyl glucoside it also has aloe which some people can be allergic to or irritated by but otherwise is very soothing and hydrating so yeah i love this i i personally use the personally i use the attitude brand uh fragrance free fragrance free hand soap you can get it on iherb I also recommend that one. I am a huge fan of this carousel foot ointment. I've talked about it in my Walmart video. This will completely change the appearance of your feet for the better. And it's pretty inexpensive. Much better than getting pedicures or using those petty egg things. It is a salicylic acid based foot ointment that nicely softens the callus on the heels. And uh, if you use this, by the way, make sure you wash your hands afterwards so that you don't touch your face because that would be irritating. It's meant for the, the thick soles of the feet, not the face. Um, but I hadn't been, I have not been using it for a long time. I ran out of it and I, I haven't been using it for a while. And my feet with running and everything, they're starting to get a little, a little unsightly. I have been using it for exactly one week and I painted my toenails. Oh, gasp. But... Look at that, it has completely, I mean, this is like, I just wanna to touch my feet all day. <laughs> They're super soft. Um, and my heels, I had a big callus here, completely, completely took care of it. So I've been using it every night for the past week and now that my feet are socially acceptable, even though I always wear them, covered. <laughs> now that my feet are socially acceptable, I will probably down titrate to a few nights a week. And then I'll start getting lazy about it again <laughs> and have to start back up with it again. But yeah, highly recommend that stuff. Tyvee, chewing on a carrot. Love my carrots. <laughs> chewing on all over your new rug though. <laughs> So it's lunchtime, and I think I'm going to make myself a carrot cake smoothie bowl. So I'll show you guys kind of what I come up with. But my mom has uh, just a few steamed baby carrots here. They're, they're pretty mushy. Can you see the mush on that? She just steamed them on the stove in water in a steamer. And this is the pea protein powder that she got at Trader Joe's. I'm just going to use one scoop. Uh, two scoops is a serving. Um, but I'm just going to use one, one scoop. This is unflavored, unsweetened, and it's pretty good. And I'll be using some of the unsweetened almond milk from Kirkland. 
But I'm just gonna get some ice. And then I'm gonna do this little chunk of frozen banana. And some cinnamon. And the carrots. And put some of the liquid in. About a cup. Yeah, I want it kind of sweet, so I'm going to put a stevia packet in it. But the key I find with making smoothies is never put never put the protein powder in first. It makes it hard to dissolve. It's good to sandwich the protein powder in between uh, a little bit of the liquid and some more liquid on top. So there's the scoop. Put cinnamon in. I can't remember. I can never have too much cinnamon. So add a little bit more of that. And then this is arrowroot starch. It's kind of like cornstarch. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit just to kind of thicken the smoothie up a little bit. And a little bit of simple vanilla extract. And some ginger. And just a little bit of nutmeg. to keep a big mug bowl in the freezer um, that's chilled and you just pour the smoothie bowl right into the chilled mug bowl and then I pop it in the freezer for a few minutes while while I gather my toppings um, <laughs> All right, so for toppings, I'm just going to break up the last yellow corn cake here. My mom got these at Sprouts. I'm gonna use some of these freeze-dried strawberries that she got at the Dollar Tree. And then she has a in-progress PB2 peanut powdered peanut butter. I'm gonna sprinkle on top. And I'm also gonna sprinkle on top some bare, uh, these are just baked apple chips. And of course cinnamon and I will probably do maybe some hemp seeds as well. I almost forgot my mom has some cooked cranberry in the Frigidaire. I like to break up a either rice cake or corn cake like this into my smoothie bowl. I saw somebody on YouTube a long time ago share that. And it gets like nice and soggy in the smoothie bowl, kind of like cereal, like puffed rice cereal. <laughs> I like that. They're too, too dense on the, the tummy. You got, you've had your carrots. You've had your carrots. <laughs> And of course, have to eat it with a plastic smoothie spoon. 
You ready for lunch? Almost. You got your salad? You made a salad? Yeah, go ahead and take a look at it there. Wait, have it, uh, you need one of those domes like they have in, uh, <laughs> in the crown. <laughs> wow, that looks really good. Romaine, cauliflower rice with peas, and is that Mrs. Dash? Mrs. Dash, uh, the Southwest. Mm -hmm. And shredded carrots. Yep. Looks delicious. Do you need any of that? Oh, not for yourself. No. <laughs> I don't think that go well. Can I put my smoothie bowl on your plate here? Yeah. Stay classy. And I'm just having a little natural calm, cherry natural calm. That's a magnesium drink that I like to drink for the taste. I like it in cold water, I know I'm odd. And I was drinking a coffee earlier, but that is empty, so. Well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. <laughs> Tybee wants to say bye. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. And subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow.